Hi, welcome to Cystic Technologies Lictherm version 6 introductory video. I'm going to be talking about the features of the new version of Lictherm, in particular the feature of building the pipeline model graphically. So let's go ahead and start up Lictherm. So when you open up Lictherm, you have the options of uh, creating a new pipeline or opening an existing pipeline model. So let's go ahead and click on new pipeline. We're going to create a model using the second option, graphically build a pipeline model. This opens up the graphic engine we call pipe graph and gives you the five different steps choosing the option uh, of units from the option menu and then creating a drawing by dropping items from the toolbox here on the left onto the canvas area and then editing the properties of these items. So let's go ahead and start off. This toolbox here shows a pump station object, a tank object, several different pipe objects. This is a main pipeline or a pipe segment this is for a pipe branch, incoming branch. The red one is for an outgoing branch and the green one is for a pipe loop. In addition we have valves, fittings and so on. So let's go ahead and start off with the tank. Drag that tank and drop it. Take a piece of pipe. We'll drag that pipe. So we have the first pipe segment from the tank. Let's say we have a pump station at that point. This could be a booster pump. Then we have another piece of pipe and uh, let's say we have a valve here, another piece of pipe and then we have another piece of pipe and we're going to put another valve at this end. So we've created a pipeline model graphically using these objects. We have to define the properties of these pipes, the valve, the pump station and so on. Let's click on the tank object, double click, it opens up a data entry. So the name of the tank, we'll call it TK101. Then you have the tank head is about 50 feet of liquid. We go ahead and save that. So I change the name to TK101 and let's go to the pump station and double click on that. You can change the name of the pump station. Let's call it Corona. And um, there's only one pump. You can specify the configuration here if you have more than one. Suction pressure of 50 pounds. All that information is down here on the status bar. Uh, at the present time we don't have a pump curve. We'll just say TBD. We have a 2000 horsepower driver. The status is on and the driver is a motor. And we can have options like variable speed drive, gas turbine, and so on. Rated speed of 3500, minimum speed, maximum speed. For a constant speed motor, of course, it will be the same. With that, we go ahead and save the information. That changed the name to Corona. And the valve here, let's say it's a, it's a ball valve. Choose a ball valve, 16 inch diameter. It has a K value for friction drop, or you can specify your own pressure drop, let's say 10 pounds of pressure drop, that'll override this K value. Go ahead and save that. And then we'll do the same thing for this valve. We'll just leave that alone in this case. Let's talk about these pipes. The first pipe segment here is, um, if I can get to it. All right, this is part of the main line. Pipe zero is the name of the pipe. Let's say the length is um, say 500 feet and the diameter of the pipe is 16 inch, wall thickness is quarter inch, pipe roughness, MAOP, elevation of the upstream end, elevation of the downstream end. We'll change that to 150 and save it. So that defines this pipe. Go to the next pipe, you can do the same thing. Let's say that pipe is um, 25,000 feet long, same diameter, 
we'll leave that alone. You noticed the elevation of the upstream end matched the downstream elevation of the previous pipe. Go ahead and save that. In the interest of time, we'll just go ahead and quickly change the length of that to, say, 10,000 feet and leave the rest of the numbers alone. And this is going to be the last piece of pipe. And we'll call that, say, 2,500 feet of pipe and leave the defaults. So basically we've built the model using the graphical process. If you go and hover your mouse over there, you'll see information pertaining to that object. In this case is TK101 and the head is 50 feet. And same thing for the pipe, gives you quickly a summary of the properties of that pipe. Same thing for the pump station and the valve and so on. So now we can go ahead and save the data in a file. Before we do that, let's talk about some flow rates. Here's a flow rate object. Let's go drop that flow rate onto the tank, and that immediately changes the icon with a small Q at the end. This means that we're going to be starting off with a certain flow through this pipeline, and if you go up here, it gives you some additional properties for the flow rate. So let's say the flow rate being in barrels per day here, so let's say it's 100,000 barrels a day, temperature coming out of the tanks 50 degrees and let's say the product name we just pick uh, gasoline for example and save it so that information is now contained in the properties of this this tank so with that information this basic pipeline we're going to go ahead and save the information in a file and the file is going to be called a project file for this pipeline I'm going to call this a test pipe 101. Now let's save that. So all the information we put in has been saved. So now when we quit this application, it would have created the necessary input file for Lictum. I'm going to say go ahead and save that again. And then now I'm in the Lictum model it's asking you what file do you want to open so in this case the file that we just created today is test pipe 101 and I say OK and then immediately that file is opened up in the Lictum spreadsheet the familiar Lictum spreadsheet so all that information we put in tank the pump station and so on is in here go to the flow rate screen you can see flow rate is at the beginning it's 100,000 barrels a day 50 degree temperature and we chose gasoline. Now we could change the property by just pushing F3 and choosing let's say diesel instead. So now we save that information and then we go to the pump station screen and you see the Corona pump station is at a distance of 500 feet from the tank, the default, default pump efficiency, the pump suction pressure and then the moment you click update it reminds you that we now have a storage tank at the beginning. Please confirm the tank head, and which in this case is that. So we click OK. Go over there. Still reminding you that. Anyway, coming back here to the second tab, pumps and drivers. There's a TBD pump at this pump station, 2,000 horsepower. All these numbers we've seen before in the graphical uh, model. So we close that. We can go ahead and save that. That information is now in there. Now. This basically explains how we graphically build the pipeline model and then import it into, uh, automatically import it into the Lictum spreadsheet. In the second video, the second part of this video, we will take talk in more detail.